several excavations support the view that Rome grew from pastoral settlements on the Palatine Hill built above the area of the future Roman Forum. These developments, which according to archaeological evidence took place during the mid-8th century BC, can be considered as the birth of the city. Despite recent excavations at the Palatine Hill, the view that Rome was founded deliberately in the middle of the 8th century BC, as the legend of Romulus suggests, remains a fringe hypothesis. Traditional stories handed down by the ancient Romans themselves explain the earliest history of their city in terms of legend and myth. They decided to build a city, but after an argument, Romulus killed his brother and the city took his name. In addition, Strabo mentions an older story, that the city was an Arcadian colony founded by Evander. Strabo also writes that Lucius Celius Antipater believed that Rome was founded by Greeks. The tradition handed down seven kings, Romulus, Numa Pompilius, Tullus Hostilius, Ancus Martius, Tarquinius Priscus, Servius Tullius, and Tarquinius Superbus. In 509 BC, the Romans expelled the last king from their city and established an oligarchic republic. After becoming master of Latium, Rome led several wars whose result was the conquest of the Italian peninsula, from the central area up to Magna Graecia. The 3rd and 2nd century BC saw the establishment of Roman hegemony over the Mediterranean and the Balkans, through the three Punic Wars fought against the city of Carthage and the three Macedonian Wars against Macedonia. Because of this, in the second half of the 2nd century and during the 1st century BC there were conflicts both abroad and internally, after the failed attempt of social reform of the Populares Tiberius and Gaius Gracchus, and the war against Jugurtha, there was a first civil war between Gaius Marius and Sulla. A major slave revolt under Spartacus followed, and then the establishment of the first triumvirate with Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus. The conquest of Gaul made Caesar immensely powerful and popular, which led to a second civil war against the Senate and Pompey. His assassination led to a second triumvirate among Octavian, Mark Antony, and Lepidus and to another civil war between Octavian and Antony. Rome was established as a de facto empire, which reached its greatest expansion in the 2nd century under the Emperor Trajan. During its first two centuries, the empire was ruled by emperors of the Julio-Claudian, Flavian, and Antonine dynasties. The emperor quickened the process of removing military command from governors. Diocletian ruled the eastern half, residing in Nicomedia. During the 5th century, the emperors from the 430s mostly resided in the capital city, Rome. The popes embellished the city with large basilicas, such as Santa Maria Maggiore. The population of the city had fallen from 800,000 to 450 to 500,000 by the time the city was sacked in 455 by Genseric, king of the Vandals. The decline of the city's population was caused by the loss of grain shipments from North Africa, from 440 onward, and the unwillingness of the senatorial class to maintain donations to support a population that was too large for the resources available. However, the city gave an appearance overall of shabbiness and decay because of the large abandoned areas due to population decline. The population decline coincided with the general collapse of urban life in the West in the 5th and 6th centuries, with few exceptions. Subsidized state grain distributions to the poorer members of society continued right through the 6th century and probably prevented the population from falling further. Distributed to poorer Romans during five winter months at the rate of 5 Roman pounds per person per month, enough for 145,000 persons or one quarter or one third of the total population. The bishops of Rome were also seen as the successors of Peter, who is considered the first bishop of Rome. The city thus became of increasing importance as the center of the Catholic Church. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD, Rome was first under the control of Odoacer and then became part of the Ostrogothic Kingdom before returning to East Roman control after the Gothic War, which devastated the city in 546 and 550. On Christmas night of 800, Charlemagne was crowned in Rome as Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire by Pope Leo III, on that occasion the city hosted for the first time the two powers whose struggle for control was to be a constant of the Middle Ages. In 846, Muslim Arabs unsuccessfully stormed the city's walls, but managed to loot St. Peter's and St. Paul's Basilica, both outside the city wall. Subsequently, Rome was sacked and burned by the Normans under Robert Guiscard who had entered the city in support of the Pope, then besieged in Castel Sant'Angelo. Charles founded the Sapienza, the University of Rome. During this period Rome was neglected, until a plebeian man, Cola di Rienzo, came to power. Back in power for a short time, Cola was soon lynched by the populace, 
and Albornoz took possession of the city. In 1377, Rome became the seat of the papacy again under Gregory XI. That year Rome was declared capital of Italy even though it was still under the Pope's control. Italian troops were able to capture Rome entering the city through a breach near Porta Pia. In 1871 the capital of Italy was moved from Florence to Rome. A significant portion lived outside the walls in the north and across the Tiber in the Vatican area. Soon after World War I in late 1922 Rome witnessed the rise of Italian fascism led by Benito Mussolini, who led a march on the city. Mussolini demolished fairly large parts of the city center in order to build wide avenues and squares which were supposed to celebrate the fascist regime and the resurgence and glorification of classical Rome. During World War II, due to the art treasuries and the presence of the Vatican, Rome largely escaped the tragic destiny of other European cities. The Pope declared Rome an open city. During this period, the years of La Dolce Vita, Rome became a fashionable city, with popular classic films such as Ben-Hur, Quo Vadis, Roman Holiday and La Dolce Vita filmed in the city's iconic Cinecita film studios. The year is a residential and business area southwest of the city center. The letters year means Esposizione Universale Roma. The year was also designed to direct the expansion of the city to the southwest and the sea and to become a new urban center in Rome. After the war, the unfinished facilities of the year were severely damaged. The year was almost fully completed for the 1960 Olympic Games.